Try not coming again, Bolt. Good morning. Day two of a replant today. Um, Phil got here early this morning. Our crop insurance adjuster was uh, is out. He, he had to check some of those fields before we tear them out. So I think they're off looking at the first one and I'm just gonna kind of hang out here until they get back and see what other information they might need. Um, I got my trailer hooked up, gooseneck to the truck here. We've got to go and get some seed. I found a couple of boxes of corn that are about oh, 35, 40 miles from here. So I'm gonna run and get those this morning. And while I'm waiting for Phil and the insurance adjuster to get back, I'm gonna fix this end, the plug on our uh, trailer side. I bought a new one the other day when I was at the store. So we're gonna swap that out. All right, new end is on. This one looks a little more solid. It's got a little steel on it. Then uh, that plastic one I took off fits in pretty good. So hopefully that all works and hopefully I got the right wires in the right spot. Anyway, I had a customer call me looking for one to two bags of corn for replant. So I'm gonna grab that, throw it on the trailer and uh, the back of the truck, drop that off on my way and we're gonna go pick up some more seed. Look at this. I just parallel parked the trailer. Not really, there was enough room to pull in, but I got some lunch and now we're back to the farm. We'll be there just like that. See, just like that. Anyway, uh, gotta get my stuff unloaded here and then we're gonna put some corn in the planter and go keep planting, I guess. That's the plan. I think Phil's uh, running the field cultivator on one of them fields that we were gonna tear out, so. Uh, we'll probably go finish spotting in the field we were in last night, maybe do a couple other ones, and then try and plant that whole field where he's at now. All right, now we just got to figure out what we want to put in the planter. Uh, I think we're going to start with this pallet, but I'm going to throw six bags or something like that off, uh, set them aside in case I have some customers that need a bag or two, because that's the hybrid I would prefer to give them. Uh, we'll put that in the planter. There's... 20 more bags there. We'll put the 20 in, 10 in each side. That will be enough to plant uh, 20, 40, 50 acres. So that'll go a ways. And uh, uh, we should be able to finish that field we were in last night and do a couple other ones. And we'll see where we're at. And we'll probably put that box in after that. I've got my 10 bags in each side. One of the uh, disadvantages of using bags one of the many is that i can't apply the talc through my app applicator on the tender so we just sprinkle a little bit in on top try and cover it all and then uh, i'll take my stir stick here I'm, i don't know how much you're supposed to use i should probably read it but i'm just putting two cups in a cup or five bags seems about right oops but I've got my handy dandy, dang, stir stick. Now I gotta go get it. As I was saying, my handy dandy stir stick. And we kind of mix this around, mix in that talc a little bit, level off the tank. And then we call her good enough. Before I head to the field, I'm gonna fill up my water. Well, there was corn there. Kind of. There was some corn there this morning. Whew. Bill was just finishing up the ends behind the house. I told him to leave anything that looked acceptable out there. He didn't leave much. This field, there may be a little bit more that gets left alone, but he's going to go across here too. All right, well, let's see how we do here today. It should only be... 50 acres or so left in the field total, and I don't have to replant at all, so I'm pretty sure we got enough seed to do it. This is why this job sucks. See that? That is really good corn. And there, nothing. So on one half of the planter, I'm tearing out and planting through good corn to fetch in the other side. And it's just, this the decision making that has to be done here is brutal. Uh, where do you lift the planter, where don't you? What do you leave? What do you replant? I, this is the worst, I've said this a few times on this channel, but this is the worst job on the farm. 
Worst job operating equipment anyway, let's say that. Power washing, still no fun. I'm starting to get into part of this field that's actually pretty good here. Um, which is nice because I can just keep the planter up. Oh, it's dusty. And uh, drive through this pretty quick. Um, just, you know, watching and looking. So if you look at my uh, map here, you can see on the this back corner and this front corner were pretty bad, but now we're starting to get into better stuff where I don't need to replant near as much. And hopefully this goes quicker. Still got to drive it, but it's a lot faster to drive it at 13 or 15 miles an hour than five. So we'll, we'll get across here. Dad should be here later today to get this sprayed too, so we can get these weeds killed and keep everything else from growing. So that'll be good. He was, uh, had one more load of wheat to spray this morning that he got done and then, uh, I actually passed him on my way home with that seed. He was uh, on the way over to that field where we had all those volunteer beans in it. Uh, was gonna hit that with some 2,4-D and kill the beans off before we go work it up to uh, replant the corn, so. Yeah, then he's gotta get back to spraying a uh, little spot here. Get to get ready, get back to spraying the rest of the corn, so uh, hopefully in the next day or two or three, We'll get all the corn sprayed and he'll be all caught up with that. Almost done with this field. Um, see my map here, there was a good chunk in the center that wasn't too bad and then there was a big low hole back here that needed most of it replanted and spotting in, stuff like this that I'm just kind of going through it even though it's wet on top, but uh, it's not, not too bad. So um, somebody on yesterday's video asked me what I set up in the computer to make this thing plank because uh, as you guys will remember we have uh, section control on this uh, uh, planter which basically it shuts all the rows off as we overlap and I'm gonna have to lift through that too muddy um, but anyway so since I've already planted this field doesn't the corn planter think that it's all planted and not turn the seed on and well yes it would do that um, but I cleared the background map so there's a way for me to uh, just basically clear out all the coverage so that it sort of starts over and makes a new map, doesn't recognize that it's already been planted even though the records are all still in the display. Um, so that's how that works. If I, for example, on the Endros, if there's a spot that I don't have to replant, then I have to stop and lift it up or, or it'll overlap into the ends. But usually if I don't have to replant the Endros, the corn right in front of where uh, I'm coming into the ends isn't bad either, so I don't have to replant it. So, anyway, just got to do the short rows over there, the little angle point rows, and we'll move on to the next field. How many acres did I end up doing here? Let's see, I'm up to 48 total almost, and I had uh, 14 in the other field, so 48 would be 34 out of the 78 in this field, 35, yeah, that's a lot, almost half, wow. All right, we are done here, finally. Ended up doing about 35 acres in this field of 78, so not quite half, but awfully close. Yeah, that's a lot. Let's see, there's the map. The blue areas are what got replanted, the white area, or the gray areas are, are, did not. And there's Dad, right behind me with the sprayer, getting the herbicide on. I don't think that's supposed to be there. I don't think that was there a minute ago. Oh man, it got hot since the last time I got out of that cab. Anyway. We seem to have lost the gauge wheel. Well, we'll figure out where it went. Put it back on. I am uh, working on these next fields here. I did the one over there on the other side of the ditch. There's 11 acres in the field. I replanted five of it. And uh, I'm working in this field in the back. This field actually looks better. I don't think there will be as much. Right there. That's where this gauge wheel goes. All right, I got that gauge wheel back in. It's adjusted pretty well. This one over here is way too tight, but I cannot get the bolt loose to adjust it. And there was one other one that uh, 
was loose so I adjusted it out a little bit and I see we've got some of this happening pieces of plastic coming off of our uh, closing wheels on a couple rows nothing that's gonna stop us doing a replant right now but uh, certainly can tell we're to the end of season time for some maintenance on the corn planter okay well this field is done uh, there was I think 36 total in this field and it looks like I replanted eight so percentage wise less in this field than any of the other ones we've done already uh, let's see if I got 62 acres of replant done total we put enough seed in for 50 and we had 28 done that means I got almost 20 acres worth of seed left so we're gonna just stop at the next field and uh, keep spotting it in just pulled into the next field and look what I find tire pokers I don't know how bad this field is obviously there's some spots like that where the water sat that we got to patch in it looks like a thin spot over there but a lot of it doesn't look too bad uh, this is also right next to one of the fields that we had planted early that we already side dressed and that corn is really starting to take off um, some of our corn has kind of had a pale yellow look to it and I don't know if it was just because it was small the cold weather the wet weather or what but this field's got a nice dark green color um, maybe getting into that nitrogen band a little bit and it's it's growing it looks really good I'm uh, I'm happy with this stuff here's where it tells me that there's a coverage map already existing uh, for this field and for planting corn uh, it was done on 5-3 of 2020, which was 30 days ago. And so then I can either continue with the coverage or I can clear the field, current field coverage. So if I continue with it, it's got my background map or my coverage map from the first time already there and my row shutoffs would shut everything else, where I'd shut everything off and I wouldn't be able to replant in those spots unless I uncheck my section control. Um, but then anytime the planter's in the ground, it's planting no matter what. So if I hit this clear button, then the background map, uh, the, the coverage map goes away. This is my prescription map. So uh, it will create a new coverage map and like where I do these ends, when I come into the ends from the field rows, it'll still shut the planter off when I turn. The acres are gonna keep adding up here. I think we're out of seed again. We are out of seed. Uh, we've covered about half of this field. There's 46 acres in it. We've replanted about 13, so there's quite a bit out here. Uh, I am getting to some of the better stuff, so I think it'll be a little bit less as we keep going. Uh, we've got nine acres across the road over there that we've got to drive across. Most of that looks okay, but there will probably be a couple acres in that. Uh, and then we're going to go over to the one that was started with the field cultivator today. So we're going to go back and put that box of seed in that we got. Uh, that's enough for 100, so it should be enough for us to finish tonight. Fill her up! Thought I was done with that tender too. Good thing I didn't power wash it. It's still mixing up chemicals, going to spray some more corn. Clearly we have both found some mud. What are you going to do? Look what just came out of the auger in my seed. Piece of broken plastic off one of them boxes. Quality control, Golden Harvest. Come on. All right, well, this one's a pretty small seed size, but we've got uh, 40 more units, 20-ish in each side. And uh, this is a 100-day corn. OOH12 is the number. You guys remember that gauge wheel I said I couldn't get to adjust in the field? Well, I still can't. Even with the big wrenches. So I'm cutting the dang thing off. Let's find a new bolt. Try not coming again, bolt. Thread it out by hand once I got the pressure off the dang thing. I don't know why that thing got packed in there so tight or it got so... Uh, Basically, the wheel was pinched against here. There was no gap there, and so this got pinched against it, which made when I tried to move the bolt out, it, it turned this bushing in there, which basically just threaded the gauge wheel tighter against the uh, shank here, and it wouldn't come out. So 
I cut the head of the bolt off and then I was able to get the gauge wheel off and the bolt's threaded right out. So now I gotta find a new bolt, re-thread that so that it's in the right spot, put it back together. Okay, I got it back on there. It's not perfect, um, but it'll work for the last little bit of replant that we've got to do. And uh, like I said, we need to do some maintenance on this planter over the winter or whenever. Some of it may happen when we put it away. Most likely it'll be February or March. And no matter how good my replant does, he's gonna destroy it all. Ah, you just can't win some days. That's uh, that's pretty close to not be running full bore. I'm surprised. Remember where that rock is. We'll come pick it up with the gator sometime. It's really interesting to me how the slopes going down are bare and then the very bottom of this low spot, there's corn growing, and then the slope going up the other side is also bare. It's really weird. You would think where the water sat the longest, right in the bottom of it, is where the corn would be gone. But it's not the case in this spot. And I'm a little baffled by that, actually. But, huh, that's what it is. Okay, well, there's another field done. I ended up with 21 acres in this field to replant out of 46 or 47 something like that so huh, still less than half but it's a good chunk of the ground it's more than i thought so we're going to jump right across the road here there's only nine acres there hopefully it's only two or three that we got to replant well so much for this field being just a couple acres um what did i end up doing two six six out of nine this one was bad. Ugh. Oh well, we're done. Okay, so this field is one of them that we decided to completely start over. There's another rock. Remind me to get that. In fact, there's a bunch of them right there. Um, so Phil was in here this morning with the field cultivator, and he worked it down. In fact, you cannot see any remnants of any corn left, and it looks like it worked up really nice. So this is going to be a little bit easier job to plant because I don't have to worry about do I put the planter up, do I not, um, leave it down, whatever. We just plant. So you can see he did leave some where you can actually see green. So that's where some of the corn was decent and we decided that there's no reason to tear out good corn if it's actually good and replant it. So he did go around some and uh, I don't know how many acres. We'll see what we end up with when we get done with the field. There's almost 100, like 90 six I think between the two little fields here so um, yeah we'll see what we get we may go work on the other side first because he left more on the other side and it's easier to go through that and work around it in the daylight than it is when it gets dark and it's gonna get dark before we get done here oh man this is nice nice is a relative term we can use my auto steer which I have been anyway I don't have to worry about where we're planting and where we're not. It's just, it's just like planting the first time. I think, in fact, I think it's time to kick it up to June planting speed. Five miles an hour. That's where I've set this, at five miles an hour for uh, all of planting season. There we go. Five and a half. And I don't have the old 2020 over here to tell me that I'm doing a crappy job. No, I'm sure it's fine. We'll keep an eye on this monitor here and uh, keep dialing stuff in. But ever since I got those uh, chains, sprockets fixed on the, the, the drive chains there, this thing's been running pretty good. So, And I did load my prescription in. Uh, I should probably, yeah, there. Um, I haven't been using a prescription on any of the other fields because... Uh, it was all this replant and I just it was too complicated too much to worry about so but this where I'm redoing the whole field I decided to use my script and uh, we'll variable rate it just like we would have before you guys want to see something cool so you remember that uh, MGT that we installed on this tractor that modular telematics gateway for our uh, wireless data transfer stuff well one I finally got it working today so for example if you look here on my iPad, it's got a uh, record of 
the replants that we just did. This is one of the last, that is the last field that we were in. So that's cool, that data already transferred to uh, uh, the My John Deere system. Uh, the other thing is, it'll show me, yep. So there's our tractor where we're at right now. And if I go here and I hit this RDA button, I gotta turn around, so hold on. So I signed in. Now it's uh, waiting for a mis machine response. And in a second here, this one is gonna come up with a little message saying that somebody's trying to access your display. Right there, remote access view requested. And who it is, obviously it's me since I signed in. So if I hit accept here, it, it will send a signal back to this display. And there it is. So now I can see my 2630 display and exactly what I see down here shows up there. Which obviously in this situation is completely pointless, right? But let's say that uh, dad was running this tractor and I was in the field next door or at the shop or whatever and he had a problem and couldn't figure something out. I can log into it and see what he says and uh, we can work through it and fix it. Pretty cool, so that's what the uh, $300 we spent to upgrade the MGT in this tractor got us, and I think they gave us the subscription for it for three years, so yeah, I, I think it was worth it. That's cool. The moving uh, uh, data wirelessly, and it just does it. Every time I change the field in the display, it, it sends the data uh, back after we finish every field, which is great, so it's all there. I don't have to worry about it. Pretty cool. Another benefit to being able to not have to watch what I'm planting so much, I can watch my YouTube videos. Also, there's another rock. Can you see it back there behind the planter? Yeah. Remind me of that one too. Really, I don't need you to uh, remember that, but or remind me of that. But the fact that I said it during the video and then I'll watch it again when I'm editing it tonight will help me remember. Every time I turn around and look at those little red ball or uh, visit gauges there where my fertilizer is and I don't see the balls floating, it freaks me out and I gotta do a double check and then I'm like, oh yeah, I'm not putting any fertilizer on. It's weird. I don't do this very often and you know, replant is the only situation where I wouldn't use any starter. Uh, and I kind of feel like we should be using it here because I'm not really on my bands anymore. Technically, I am planting in the exact same spot uh, as I did the first time. I, I, my RTK line is exactly the same, but the tillage probably moved my starter and stuff around a little bit. So uh, the good thing is it's warm and this corn's gonna come up really fast. It's gonna grow quickly. It'll put out a decent little root system and it should be able to go find those nutrients because they're still there. They just got scattered a little bit. So uh, I, th I think we'll be okay. Well, I'm into some of that stuff that Phil uh, left go because he thought it was okay. So, uh, Basically, since I got more to plant up in front there, uh, we get into it, and then we just lift the planter up. We'll drive down the rows here, and then uh, we'll plant this little island between here and there. Then we'll turn around and go back the other way. Getting close. I don't know how much we got left in this field. It's the hard thing is when you're skipping areas and you're not doing it all, you don't really know how much there is left to go in the field or yeah anyway you know what one of the good things about planting in june versus planting the first week of may is it stays light a lot later it's almost nine o'clock and it's still light out so right about this spot in this field uh when i was planting it the first time is where i did one of my live streams in fact my first of the planting live stream and I thought about doing one tonight. It's a good night for it, although I haven't really told you that I would be doing it. But I also had trouble with my internet connection, cell phone connection in this field while I was doing that live stream. So I decided not to do one here tonight. However, tomorrow I should be planting in a different field where I have a much better cell phone connection. The problem is I'll be there in the morning. So I'm thinking about doing it anyway. Um, watch my social media, which, by the way, tomorrow means now, if you guys are watching this, when I post it, first thing tomorrow morning, uh, what's tomorrow? Hold on, let me see. 
June 3rd, yeah. So tomorrow is June 3rd, or today when you're watching this. And um, I'm thinking about doing a live stream, maybe 11-ish, I don't know. Check my social media, Facebook, Instagram, post community posts on YouTube here, and uh, I will let you know if I'm going to do one. But that's my tentative plan right now because it will be a field like this where it's a complete replant, not a patch job, and I can actually take a little bit of my attention away from driving the tractor and planting to do a live stream for you guys. So, uh, I don't know, morning, and what are you gonna do? So, watch for that. Finally, you see those lights over there? It's the only other tractor around here. How was I supposed to know when to turn my lights on? I've been waiting. I know it doesn't look that dark out, but that's because my phone's so amazing in its camera. Hey, um, today is my mother-in-law's birthday. Her name is Melinda. If you all could give her a little sh birthday shout-out. She doesn't watch my videos, so she'll never see it, but at least then I can say when she, you know, hey, how'd you like your birthday shout-outs? And she'll be like, what? So, anyway, happy birthday. Here is the end of this field. We ended up planting 57 of the 65 acres in this field. There's the map, pretty much all of it, but a couple of little squares there. Yikes. So we're gonna jump across this little lane and we've got another 35 acres here, although there's a lot more of it that Phil left. So uh, I should have done this one first thought about it and that I was too lazy to drive over here so now I get to do it in the dark. But we'll figure it out. I got an air message on my display about my uh, air compressor for my downforce running too long. So I just got out to check it. I don't see anything wrong. I did drain the water out of the air tank there. There was quite a bit of it. So maybe that was the problem, I doubt it. But all the rows look okay, or the airlines, I'm checking these here to make sure none of them popped off and that all the airbags still have air in them, and they do. So I think we're okay, but just wanted to double check. The moon is bright tonight. Well, I'm back into some standing corn. Uh, there was, like I said, a lot more in this side that uh, we did not tear out. Um, the, the that half of this field, more of it did get fit up, but on the um, east side of it here, there's a fair amount that was in pretty good shape. So uh, there was a, a spot where the water washed through here. We had a bit of a gully fill, kind of worked that down, and we're uh, so I'm patching across that. Easy to tell that it needs filled in, but I'm also driving some of this other stuff because okay. Well, there were some thin spots, but then I drive this round and there weren't any after I was gonna try and film it to show you. So, uh, there was some spots up there, uh, just in the middle of the field that, that I needed to drop the planter in, but then it's gotten better. So, uh, I'm just gonna finish patching in this little bit where Phil worked through it. And then as we get to the west side of this field, uh, there was a big wet hole in the center. We'll see how wet that still is and whether we can go through it or not. Uh, but we'll at least plant what got worked out. I have found the edge. And while those four rows there probably don't need replanted, that's the edge of the planter pass. So they're getting replanted anyway. And then we've got to finish out the field. Uh, you can see we're working we just got kind of this area in here to do yet, so it really isn't going to be too bad. I don't know, it'll probably take me another half hour or so. I don't know how well you can see the elevation change in front of me, but we're heading downhill, and in the bottom of this hole here, a week ago there was probably a foot of water. Two weeks ago there was probably three or four feet of water. It's still a little wet on top. That dark area, it's wet. What do you think? Full set. Oh, maybe not over there. We're gonna go for it. I think it's firm. 
We aren't stuck yet. Barely making an imprint. Might stick to the gauge wheels a little bit, but it'll fall off quickly when we get in dry dirt. So, can't believe we can plant through that. The guys in Minnesota would do it, so we're gonna do it too. Oh no! Low tank warning. I've got two and a half rounds to make. Ah. Oh. Maybe they're uneven and it's just one side that's low and I can move it. I knew I would be close, but I really thought I was going to make it. Well, they aren't terribly uneven, but they're uneven enough that uh, I can scoop some out of here, put it in that tank, and we'll be able to finish. There's certainly a lot more bugs than when I was planting a month ago. Done. All right. So, what did we do in this field? Oh, I'll have to do some math. 16. 16 out of the 35, so it's still almost half the field. Um, yeah, but these were some of the worst corn that we had. Uh, reason why we tore it out and started over, so good to get this one done. Phil did get the next field worked up ahead of me, so we can go there tomorrow. There is a chance of rain tonight and tomorrow. And we'll see. I don't know if we'll be able to keep moving tomorrow or not, but if it's not raining, we will. So I'm going to fold the planter up. We'll head back to the farm, call it a night. It's uh, 11 o'clock. Okay, well, I planted about 135 acres today, but we drove over 250 to do it. So that's the reality of replant is that it just takes forever and there's nothing we can do about it. So... Um, anyway, have a great night. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments, leave them down below. Like and subscribe. You guys know the drill. Uh, live stream tomorrow, today, later, this morning. I will do one if I am in the planner. That depends on the rain situation, whether or not it rains tonight, tomorrow morning, when I want to do it. And also, I've got a truck that's supposed to be coming and bringing me some more seed. I think it's going to come tomorrow. I don't know uh, exactly, but... Yeah, so watch my social media. I'll try and keep you posted as much as possible on when I want to do that live stream. But uh, uh, I'll try and do another one here while we're replanting corn. So anyway, see you guys. Have a great night.